Hey, orange one here. So we're gonna change things up a little pace. I literally just shot some turkeys, just four turkeys right here. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a little a little butchery here and see what meat we can get off of them. I don't think I'm gonna need that much. I think we can just do a quick butchery. Let's get our scalpels out. Um. I don't think we could do a full. Oh, we can do a full. They're so small. We can do a full butchery. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at all that meat. That's a lot of meat. Uh, a lot of feathers too. I don't think we we can really use that for much. It's more of a component for like arrows and stuff. We don't really use arrows. Man, if we wanted to, we can get so much meat from this. This is crazy. Yep, nice. I'll take all that. That one, I think, was that corpse was more messed up or something. I don't know. But we're getting plenty of plenty of good stuff here. Yep, that's like the other one. We're getting a lot of liver. I mean, we could we could be picking up the scraps like if we really wanted to, but we're getting so much meat. There's not real any need. Like honestly. That, like, how much meat do we have? 130 meat. That's, like, more than I'll, I'll, I'll need for the rest of the series, like, honestly. They are gonna... That. Not looking to breathe that in. Okay. He might have damaged our camera, though. A little bit exploding on it the way he did. No, it's okay. Cool. Alright, let's have a look at our meat situation here. Um... I think we want to first can, just do a massive amount of canning, if I can. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, hold on. Actually, uh, can I put my meat here? Yes, I can. Um, where was the chemistry set? Here we go. Okay. Reload. Chemistry set. Yep that battery that we have right here the way and then we should be able to continue on that with that job um yep yeah, pick that up where is it here we go activate yeah ignore we're fine they can't really see me can they uh actually they can hello hello good good day to you I'm gonna run and haul out of here just a little bit and let's kill this juggernaut honestly it's just by itself not that dangerous um get this out drop that for now And then we'll get this out. Drop the actual gun. There we go. Cool. And then we'll wear that again. We'll continue what we were doing. Up, oh, stop running. We do need to also, you know, rest. Our character does need to do some sleep. So uh, I was thinking about doing that a little bit as well here um so where is that job we're doing i do want to make sure we get this meat done first though and then we'll probably give our character a little nap and then i don't know maybe try and get back down to that doctor's office that we've been trying to get to for like forever uh really chemistry set needs another battery okay cool we can do that i can do this kind of annoying but I guess that's what I get for, you know, trying to can meat with a little chemistry set in a car. I'm famished, apparently. Okay, I need to eat. Um, I think that we're going to need to drop those. Oh, look at all that water. Um, pour into a container. Maybe fill one of those. And then... Yeah, let's pour the rest in there. Cool. Um, we also just need to eat 
eat some meat. Can I just cook some meat up, like, five pieces of meat or something? It says it's fresh still, so I think we're okay. Uh, where is that cooked meat? There we go. Just eat that. Get those calories. Okay. And then, I think... What else could we do with the meat? And we could do jerky. That takes super long time. Uh, we could do dehydrated meat. That is possible. Oh, we don't have a smoker right now, do we? Or we if we have a food dehydrator, we could do that. We could dehydrate some of that. Yeah, why don't we get that in here? Um, take that, unload that, honestly. Reload that. And then... Oh, dehydrated meat. You know, this is, like I said, this is all part of the game for me. Like, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're taking care of your uh, character's food needs. Oh, really? Um, good. Reload that. I bet we're gonna leave, like, some of this stuff on the floor, though. <laughs> you know? Like, just watch. Uh, yeah, go ahead, dehydrate that meat. Oh, that's cool, that, that fits on the table. I've forgotten how small the dehydrated meat is in this game. Like, it takes a very little volume, can, so it can fit on the table. That's good. I do want to get back down there and kill more of those zombies, but I figured we've been doing a lot of fighting, so it'd be good to just kind of slow things down for a little bit. Um, let's see. Bridge. Um... Go ahead and just kind of take things off of that and put that there. And then also we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. I know that that doesn't really need to be going in there. But I felt like it should. Uh, we got a couple canned meats here. Where's the canned meats? There's south east two, there's north two. I feel like there should be more cans of meat around here. Okay, I think that we've got it all around here, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think I've got some in my hands or something. Yeah, we got some that we're holding. That's that's where the last one is. I think. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and give ourselves maybe a little bit more cooked meat. We cook up a little bit more meat. Let's see, just cooked meat. Oh, it's because our, our chemistry set, right? Okay, uh, do I have the chemistry set still? I do. As a carnivore character, this is just like perfect for us because we can just like down like a ton of meat that we just cooked. And hopefully it, it lasts for a while. I don't know. I think the cooked meat lasts a little bit longer than just raw meat or it like resets the timer or something. But we can eat that until our character stops getting very hungry. Because we have been working our character quite a bit. I think that they, they've earned a little respite. Uh, where's the water? Didn't I get some water? No, I guess I don't have any water. Okay, go ahead and make some then. Um, no, maybe we'll we'll try and sleep a little bit first. Let's get a little sleep. A little nap for our character. Yeah, I don't know. I think that, um, I kind of want to go up to that science lab because I've just been killing zombies for a while now. IRL. <laughs> you know? Maybe I should just go for the lab. That also probably is my best bet for getting more, like, High-end CBM stuff. Can I get some of that water, please? Thank you. 
don't know what I'm throwing up about, but hopefully we can keep our, our meal down this time. We have weakness, which is not great. Uh, let's see if I can k just kill some zombies that are just out in those fields. Like, seriously, this whole game has just kind of gone bonkers with the amount of enemies there are. Like, I'm just out in a field here. Just chilling out in a field, you know? I mean, sure, I have been fighting a lot of enemies around here, so... There's bound to be some in the surrounding fields. Good thing that I was ready. Sorry, skunk. That was, that was a misclick. I think I could honestly melee a lot of these guys. Let's get some melee. Let's do it. Uh, hold on. Can I drop that? Get that Jane out. Yep. Let's do it. How you doing there, Nadir? Maybe we can kill you. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. Super easy. I don't think they even touched me. I mean, okay, actually, I'm bleeding on my leg. Let's stop that. Thank you, repair bots. <laughs> uh, I should really get my unarmed. Let's, let's kill something with some unarmed. Anybody else? The boomer is kind of like over there. Can I just kind of like antagonize them? Let's put that away. And we're going Aikido, so like, honestly, they're gonna try and throw up on me. Oh, I'm covered in the goo. I'm just gonna like, fight him a little bit. Oh look, our unarm has gone up to level 4. Thank you, friend. I'm just gonna use you to power level a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we should kill this dude as well. Cool. Good times, right? Good, good times. And look at our un unarmed. We're already at 2%. I'm happy with it. So uh, get those back on. The backpack's getting a little bit full. For my liking, to be honest. Um, okay. I think that that's pretty good. Maybe we could get this a few more rounds in there. Yeah, we're down to 600 something rounds there. Okay, let's try and maybe sleep a little bit. Maybe let's move the car just so that we're not right by where all of them are going to be coming. Cook a little bit, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotta fill ourselves up. We've been, we've been killing so much. Gotta take care of yourself. I think we're also getting rid of some of our irradiation. Maybe it looks like we may have been irradiated. Have a gummy vitamin there, and I think we'll close up that and we'll try, try and get more sleep. If the game lets us. I don't think it will. Oh look, we're throwing up heavily again. It's fine. We're eating. We're getting some nutrition out, but we're eating before we throw it up. Not a whole lot. Too bright to sleep. Put that blindfold in. And earplugs as well. I keep on forgetting to do that with this character. They really they need that to make sure they actually get sleep. It's like Nosh's really kind of annoying mechanic is that sleep and like things like that is just kind of hard to maintain. At least what I've found, it's been kind of hard to maintain. He's just like constantly very hungry. Like I feel like he's constantly eating. Like, look, I'm already very hungry. But then again, maybe I'm misunderstanding the very hungry mechanic and how it works. I think if we had like the cow back in the car and that was working like as intended, then uh, we would have plenty of food.
I wouldn't be too worried about that in that case. <laughs> we should be able to get back down there pretty soon. Look, no, we're no, no longer tired. That should help us. Especially if we can make ourselves not have the fidgets, the shakes. Okay, we're famished again. Yes, it's so weird. I feel like we just can't not be famished. Maybe it's the radiation. Can I look at, can I Geiger counter myself? Yeah, we're not that irradiated. But we have weakness, apparently. I keep on throwing up. Take off the blindfold. Earplugs. Incandescent Hulk. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's draw that that husk towards me, eh? Anybody else in the vicinity? Okay, that guy's dead. Okay, there's a juggernaut there. If it's just the one, it's not just the one. many are there. I think we'll try and shoot this one down. Let's get the earplugs back in. And then we can actually kind of assess this a little bit better. Um, get that out. Just drop the gun. It's fine. Okay. That thing looks like it's it's not running away, but it's like kind of turned around, you know? Can I put that back in my inventory and reload this with an actual mag? Yep, cool. We might be able to kill this one too. Yeah, we can totally kill this one. Oh no, there's a Kevlar Hulk right there. That's annoying. That's kind of what I feared. But I think we have enough ammo. And the fact that this Juggernaut's about to go down. There we go. Can I convince you to... not do that? Yeah, can you come over here? Thank you. Oh, three damage, hooray. Eight damage. That's a little better. <laughs> We're gonna have to laser this dude. Can I just kind of run him over here? And then maybe get away from him? I don't know. Uh, I got my joint servos going. Can I lose line of sight? Yes, I can. Cool. I'm I'm safe. That was surprising. I didn't think I was gonna be able to outmaneuver him like that, but I was. Cool. Uh, what have we got here? The juggernaut. Smash that. Other juggernaut. And snapper. Yep. Cool. Nice. And we even have some of our power back. I'm gonna just snack on a little battery. Recharge your batteries. <laughs> Because people always say that, right? Um, battery of that. Uh, I think we really should eat, you know. Can I cook a little more meat? Actually, we have lard. I have lard just like laying around. Let's have a little snack. <laughs> I know, that's horrible. I'm sorry. It's a lot of calories. <laughs> uh, let's cook some of that, though. We'll give ourselves some actual food. And if we can manage to hold that down, that should give me plenty of calories to work off of. Okay, so that should be good for now, right? 
And then... Let's see if I can uh, spot anything out here. No, I can't really see anything. I'll grab you and see if we can do some work. Maybe get ourselves a bionic. I feel like having the lights on would help, but I don't know if that really works in this game or not. I think for dissections it should. If it doesn't. It's hard to know with games like this where it's like it probably simulates this, but I don't really know. <laughs> you know? You know it's funny, I forgot that I even had infrared vision. Until I saw that bionic right there. I was like, oh yeah, I have that, don't I? Not that I ever use it. I mean I could use it right now. But the thing is is that you have to kind of be in this view to really even see anything with it and as you can see we can't there's nothing even remotely close to us it's uh it's alive okay well on a brighter note let's uh let's see if we can get to that doctor's office maybe hold on it would help if we could actually see, right? <laughs> let's, let's drive on down. I wonder if Harvey's healed up. Or is that Hulk, actually? Oh yeah, maybe I should kill that Hulk. Kevlar Hulk might drop some good gear for me. Where are you, buddy? Um... Let's get this out, because that's really what's going to do damage. Can I also reload this with a proper thing? Yeah, have you seen me? It's going to come towards me at the very least. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, he's going to go down, like, in one more volley. Wow. Respect. Did a, a couple of volleys there. Let's get the actual gun out. And we'll go out here. We should attract others by doing this. Um, yeah, we'll just shoot you. Because we've probably got others coming. Nope. Nothing there. That's a shame. Are, are those shadows being cast by the, uh, by the terrain? Is that like, it, uh, it gives 0% coverage. I don't know why it looks like there's some coverage being given maybe by something. It's kind of obscuring our vision. <laughs> Interesting. You guys want to come over here? Want to tango? Outside the city. I do really like the new bleeding mechanics and how that works with the zombies. Like, it's it's pretty a uh, good effect. Okay, the hollow's coming. Let's get the Jane out. We got this. I mean, it, our melee is it's getting respectable. Our dodge is also not half bad. What I would really like is to up that melee ability though, and really be able to call ourselves like a, a melee expert because I think that we've achieved like definitely that with our um ranged weapons you know what I mean like we really do just annihilate <laughs> with ranged weapons <laughs> oh another military rucksack nice okay let's um maybe see if we can have some more meat and then we'll go kill things, I suppose. Uh, hold on. Wrong button. Meat. Um, do maybe like eight of them because I think our character is just so hungry all the time. Okay, it's day. Yay! It's day. 
Let's just have a little quick snack. Okay, we're satisfied now. Let's just put those in our fridge. Don't want them going off, you know? Okay, let's, let's go back into town. Oh yeah, there's, I think I did see this. I didn't interact with them. But there is like an NPC in this little weird little place. Check this out. Let's also turn off our headlights if it's day. <laughs> Don't need that. Uh, I wonder if the guy's gotten killed by the zombies. Probably not. I just have that thought, possibly. Hello, uh, survivor. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna save you. Okay, I think that should be enough to kill him with this. Uh, get the auto. No, don't attack the survivor. Get the Jane out. Go ahead and put that in the inventory. Yeah, we're fine. Come on over. Is that a howler? Yeah, it's a howler. Boom. Yep. Fine. I think it's safe to say that we got this. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, go ahead and get this all put away. Is that Juggernaut? I think that, you know, there's been a lot of the Juggernauts just kind of wandering out in these fields. I think that it was definitely a good move of, a, of us to not try and charge it out all at once. Go ahead and reload this so we got a full clip while we're talking to this person. I'm a little bit nervous about not having full power. Hello there. Oh, I could just convince you to join me. Yeah, I can keep you safe. Nice. Okay, well, this person's my friend now. Uh, good to know. I have no idea where our actual base is, though, so I don't know what I'm going to do to help keep you alive. Can I see more about your abilities? Oh, you're useless, Laura. Okay. Good to know. Can I just, uh, I don't know. I mean, where is our base from here? I feel like we're like over here somewhere. Yeah, we're like over there somewhere. Gosh, that's so far away, Laura. I'd have to drive you like, I don't know. I think we can at least keep Laura here safe, maybe. What have you got here? food some f sealed food there I could eat some of the spam <laughs> don't mind me uh, no actually I'm not gonna do that that's pretty funny though can I be like hey I'm gonna close that oh no she's coming with well this is interesting it's like they got like this little thing here I'll push you in there and tell you to... Can I, I... I think I can tell you to guard. And just close that. I don't think you're going to go anywhere and hopefully nobody finds you. There's fungaloids. Oh no, there's fungaloids. Oh gosh. Okay, well we got to get out of the reality bubble then. Laura's going to make a chance. We gotta basically make sure the fungaloids don't encroach closer on that little part of the reality. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, let's uh... Should I try and make a run for it? I feel like I said I was gonna make a run for it to get in there and now it's been like half an hour and I haven't even gotten in. But the part that I thought I was going to have gone in at, there's a lot of guys right there. Let's just kind of stop that there. Close this. Close that. 
and yeah, we're we're fine. There's a couple corrosive ones here. I think we can melee all these dudes. Get the Jane out, honestly. Drop the gun. Get the Jane out. Yes, please. These dudes can't hurt me. Why would I do anything else? Come on closer, guys. Yeah. I mean, they're not juggernauts or anything, you know? And they're laying out acid for me, actually. This is actually kind of nice. In that regard. Come on over, guys. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, we're, we're totally fine. I can just kill waves of corrosive zombies coming at me. Uh, there's a shocker brute there, though. That is interesting. I definitely like this acid resistance for the stage in the game. I think it's pretty much uh, essential. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.